Once upon a time, I put out a community poll asking, should I put out a weekly wrap-up? If you're seeing the animation after this message, the answer was yes. Hey, welcome back to BellTube. I'm Brian Bell, and today's going to be the first of what's going to be either a weekly wrap-up or a bi-weekly wrap-up. Haven't quite decided yet. It's really more about what the community wants than what I want to do personally. So on these videos, as we get started on this journey that we're taking, it's really helpful if you provide comments on how often you'd like to see these videos. But the thing is, brother... I don't want to put out videos just for the sake of doing videos, but at the same time, if there's relevancy here, let's go for it. First thing I like to chat about today is just the explosive growth that this community has had over the last five weeks. BellTube did not exist five weeks ago. As of December, I think it's the 16th today that I'm filming this. You'll probably see it on the 17th or so, maybe the 18th. We're almost at 650 subscribers in the first five weeks. That is what I would consider to be explosive growth. And I think we're just started. And that explosive growth is really giving me the opportunity to do what I've set out to do here, and that's provide value for people who tune into BellTube. It might be just entertainment value. It might be book review value. It might be thoughts about life and business. It might even be just some of the one for the road segments that we do at the very end that are helpful and provide value. But the whole reason this channel exists is to provide value to the community. And if you're finding value, and maybe this is the first time that you've stopped here, please do do consider hitting the like and the subscribe button. The reason why it helps the channel grow is because people, and I learned this in the bar business, people wanna go where they see that there's other people. And I think the sooner that we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, the more explosive and exponential our growth is going to be because the randoms out on the internet will see that the BellTube community has already got 1,000 people and they're gonna to wanna to see what it's all about. They're gonna join up, they're gonna subscribe, and you guys are gonna be the first really founders of our community, which is just really cool. So that's the reason why I think subscriptions help and subscribers, it's not really subscriptions, but subscribers help because it provides that initial is this a valuable, you know, worth my time type of a channel to the random people that see it out there? And I suspect we're going to pick up another 350 subscribers relatively quickly and we'll hit that 1000 subscriber mark. And at that point, we're going to do some really cool stuff on the channel. So I just wanted to say thank you for the explosive growth that we've had so far, but I don't think that we've seen anything yet. Another thing, if you're brand new to the channel, there's really only about 11 or 12 videos up so far. So you have time to catch up. BellTube season one, so to speak, is widely available and there's only 11 or 12 episodes if you want to get completely caught up with what we've done on the channel so far. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. So regarding the weekly wrap-up, I spent the first couple weeks of this month reading Howling Dark by Christopher Rocchio. If you've watched my top 10 books of the year, you'll know that Howling Dark fell somewhere on that list. I won't spoil the video for you if you haven't yet, but it really required some thought and some time. So I put two weeks into Howling Dark absolutely worth every minute of it. It was fantastic. I'm currently listening to Cradle Book 10, which is called Reaper. And would you figure, I'm 25% into it, and it's just, I guess as the kids say, it. It's just it. These books tend to get a little bit better towards the midpoint. I'm already 10 books into Cradle. It's not like I'm not going to finish it out, but for a 12-book series that has had this much acclaim, I'm not so sure I get it, but we're not going to make our final judgment till we get through the entire series. Another book that I just picked up this week, and I think it's really only going to be about a two-day read, is Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. This is classic sci-fi, but the interesting thing about this is I took a look at the publication date, and Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End was one of, was one of my favorite books that I read back in 2022. This book, Rendezvous with Rama, was written 20 years later, and you can really tell. In the 50s, you hear talk about quite a bit that classic sci-fi is focused more on ideas rather than characters, but Rendezvous with Rama was written in the early 70s, and you can start to see the author 
give us a little bit more character background and give us a little bit more insight into why these characters are thinking the way that they are that we didn't see in these earlier books in the 1950s and the 1960s. So if there's an identifiable spot that I've noticed just maybe in this author alone, in that 20 year gap. It seems like he's changed his style a little bit, maybe for the times, but it's really cool. So far, so good on this book. I'm finding it very interesting. I suspect I'll finish Rendezvous with Rama either tonight or tomorrow. So coming up on the channel, I'm trying to do about two or three videos per week. That's the goal. Later on this week, I'm gonna share with you my TBR plans for January. And there's a reason that I haven't spoken too much about it because it's completely weird and I'm not sure anybody on BookTube has done it before. Probably for a very good reason. It might be the dumbest idea I've ever had, but I'm gonna share that with you later on at the end of the week. Before the end of the year, I'd like to get out my top 10 fantasy series as of 2023. I've not done one of those yet, as you know, if you're a regular watcher. And I think it's a great foundational starting place for Belltube as a channel to know where I'm coming in at. So in a year or two, we can look back and say, hey, did this top 10 fantasy series list change? Did it remain the same? What came in new? What left? All that good stuff. So that should come out by the end of the year. Another video that I want to get done by the end of the year is talking about where we can get our friends who aren't necessarily readers, or if they are readers, maybe they're just nonfiction or regular literary fiction readers into fantasy and sci-fi. And what are some good books that are entry points for them that aren't so overwhelming that they DNF the thing in the first chapter? I've got some ideas that might be a little bit different than has been shared on BookTube before. So I would like to get that video out still yet this month. Can you imagine? what would happen if some of your IRL friends actually started reading the same books that you did. Um, that would be very surprising for me. It's interesting. My social circle is absolutely not a group of fantasy and science fiction readers. It's what drew me to BookTube in the first place. I love this community because it allows me to share what I'm most passionate about in these books that I can't do in real life. But imagine if a handful of our friends or family members all of a sudden started liking some of these books. That would be kind of cool. And that's the intent in the video that I want to make in how to introduce somebody to these types of books. Another video that I'm looking forward to make, and I'm not sure if it's still going to be in December or be in January, is going to be where to get going with urban fantasy and why I have such passion for urban fantasy. I'll probably do something similar for Lit RPG, but I do believe that urban fantasy is going to have a lot more crossover for people that are more into epic and traditional fantasy than Lit RPG. Lit RPG is very acquired taste. I kind of think like you're either into it or you're not, it's not that much of a just do it a bunch and you'll start to like it. I think you know pretty quickly on Lit RPG. The trick there is to select the right one right off the get-go, or as my friend Beard of Darkness likes to call it, right off the rip. Urban fantasy, on the other hand, I think there's a lot more room for crossover, and I wanna share with you why I like urban fantasy as much or maybe even in some cases better than epic fantasy. So that video should be coming out sometime in either December or January. One video that I've been asked to make is a shelf tour. Now, it's interesting. I want to do a shelf tour. And as you can see, there's lots of books behind me, but there's probably just as many books that aren't behind me that are sitting in my Kindle reader. And one of my goals in starting this channel is to be able to acquire physical copies of all these eBooks that I have. I do have an Amazon wish list, but I wanna make a real big caveat here when it comes to book hauls and whether I'm gonna do them or not. I know some viewers out there like to share books and like to send books into their favorite booktubers. I'm not opposed to that at all. I will have an Amazon wish list in the description below, but here's the thing about that. Only send something if it is well within your means to do so and is not going to cause any type of harm or negativity to your current life situation. If it's going to negatively impact you, it's not worth it. But if you want to share something with me or send something to me, there'll be a link below to do that. So yes, I would like to do some book haul videos, but understand this, when it comes to my personal purchases of books, I'm unlike many other booktubers that will go on a buying spree and load up on books that, you know, they're eventually going to get to. I tend to only buy a book when I just finished a book. That way I don't have a bunch of books staring at me, you know, pleading and begging for their place in line. It allows me to mood read a little bit more in that I buy a book, 
okay, that's what I just purchased. Now I know what I'm going to read. And speaking of the Amazon book lists, I'm going to put two together. One of them are for books that I already have, as I mentioned, on Kindle. And another list is going to be for books that I do not have at all. That way, if you want to send something, you can choose from which list you want to do it. But again, same caveat applies. If it negatively impacts you, don't do it at all. Work will be just fine. The channel's growing. One of the videos that I wanted to do in December that I've decided to push into January is my top audible narrators video. The reason why is that I've realized that there's a couple of names that I keep hearing in the community that I haven't listened to yet. And I think if we're really going to do this list correctly, I should give those narrators and those actors a shot at being on the list. It only makes sense. I haven't listened to anything from Stephen Pacey yet. Um, Tim Gerard Reynolds, I haven't listened to anything yet. So I think it makes sense to just give that one a minute but know that it is forthcoming. Another crazy thought that I had for our community is I think I might have mentioned this before. I don't recall. I've been a piano player since I was about seven years old. And one of the videos that I was thinking about doing is maybe like a monthly video sitting at the piano, having a more casual conversation. Uh, we could light it up a little bit different. We could call it something a little bit different. It would still be under the bell tube, you know, channel, but the name of the show, maybe we do it once a month. Maybe we do it twice a month. I'm not real sure yet. If that's something of interest, let me know. I don't suspect I'll sit and play piano live, although you never know, stranger things have happened. But it's kind of a cool way to be able to present some of this information rather than just the static camera in front of my bookshelves. So if you'd like to have a change of scenery from time to time, maybe we'll shoot one over by the piano and we can hang out over there. So as far as weekly wrap-ups go, like I mentioned, I'm reading Rendezvous with Rama right now. I'm going to finish that very quick. The next book is going to be Eric Carter, number nine. That's an urban fantasy series. And following that, I'm going to be reading Hard Magic by Larry Correa. I had mentioned those two books on my December TBR. The good news is we're actually going to get through December, I believe, completing the December's Promise TBR. So that's excellent. So I'm looking forward to those two books. Then we're going to be into January and we're going to be doing something, like I said, kind of weird. As usual, we got to do one for the road. And today I want to do a quick little chit chat about stress. The holidays are upon us. And I know a lot of people are stressed out about the holidays. I saw a statistic yesterday that said something like 40% of the people, at least in the United States, states are very stressed out around the holiday season. I encourage everybody to take a deep breath and take a step back and realize it's just the holidays. It's not life or death. There are so many things that are out there that could be causing us way more stress than the holidays. I know at the time in your mind, it seems really important. It just isn't worth it. Settle down. I think in the words of Butthead, settle down, Beavis. No. Yeah, there you go. It's just the holidays. You're going to get through them. I hope you guys all have a great week. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know what you think about the channel so far. Please keep sharing the channel. Like I mentioned, we're at about 650 subscribers right now. We are growing explosively. We're going to be over 1,000 before you know it. I'm excited. I want you to be excited too. You are why this is happening. You are the Beltube community. And here's your fortune.